Good morning, happy Friday. Thanks for your company this Friday, the 23rd of April. I'm Jessica Ramirez, market analyst with Bell Direct. Well, we saw US equities fall into the red overnight, and that was largely because the US President Joe Biden is proposing to double the capital gains tax rate. Now, CGT, capital gains tax, it's a rate that Americans or that, uh, that uh, anyone pays tax at on investment returns when they sell stocks and other assets. Now, Biden is planning to take the CGT rate to double it to 43.4%. Now, as a result of this, the NASDAQ, the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones all lost over 0.9 of a percent each, effectively erasing the prior day's gains. But as always, there were pockets of green and gold, and this was largely supported by better than expected quarterly earnings results that are continuing to come through. For instance, the credit reporting agency Equifax, their shares were a star performer. They rose about 15% after reporting a 40% jump in revenue. Equifax revenue jumped to $1.21 billion in the quarter and that beat expectations by 8% and also beat the company's own guidance levels. As for us today, the local share market is likely to follow Wall Street lower. The futures were early suggesting a 0.2 of a percent pullback, but keep in mind, the market so far this April is up 4% and holds around 13 month high neighborhood. Gains today expected in a couple of key areas. First, a gold stocks likely to move because the gold price has nudged up by 0.1% to $1,784 US an ounce. But the focus will be on stocks and securities with a green tilt because the Global Climate Action Summit wraps up and the Aussie government has pledged an extra $540 million to go towards hydrogen and hydrogen capture technology. So keep hydrogen stocks on your radar that have already made sizable moves but are in breakouts from a technical perspective, suggesting they could move further north again. Now Fortescue Metals, FMG is one, they're up 7% this month. Province Resources PRL, they're up 58% this month. Hazer HZR, another hydrocarbon company, they're up 22% and QEM is up 31% in April. The third area of focus today, stocks to look at that could be exposed heavily to US earnings because of course, we know CGT is potentially likely to double. And separately, keep an eye on AMP shares with it set to spin off its funds management business, AMP Capital, and list it separately on the ASX in the first half of 2022. Now, AMP shareholders have been pretty much gritting their teeth because AMP shares are trading at an all time low, but they will likely and soon receive shares in the new entity proportionate to their existing holdings in AMP. And keeping on some of those most traded stocks from yesterday across Bell Direct, they were Betmakers Technology, BET, CSL, CSL is their ticket code, and Flight Center, Travel FLT. And lastly, trading ideas that could be worth a look. Australian Pharmaceutical Industries, API, was upgraded as a Bell Potter buy stock with a new $1.50 price target. Now, API's first half earnings beat expectations, although revenue did fall, 3% to $1.98 billion. It was 5% stronger than expected because API's clear skincare clinics business is doing pretty well. Their revenue was up 11% in the quarter despite many clinics being closed in Victoria and New South Wales due to COVID-19 restrictions. So keep API on your radar. Secondly, corporate travel management CTD upgraded as a Bell Potter buy with an increased 2260 target. Now, CTD has brought in tighter cost controls and is set to benefit from the ANZ bubble reopening with activity in the region up 85% compared to FY19. And lastly, bullish charting signals have been identified in Poitera. Their ticker code is 3DP, NZME, NZM, and Pacific Smiles, PSQ. That's according to Trading Central. I'm Jessica Ramirez with Bell Direct. Stay safe, happy trading, and I'll see you for the weekly wrap.